Hello? Hello. Ah, uh, I don't hear you. I don't know if it's on my side or on yours. Hello, Sokia. Ah. Hello. How are you doing? Great. Great since yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you feel? Were you happy? Yes, yeah. I mean, uh, for such a short deadline, uh, we had 15 people with people interested and who apparently want also to take part in the project, so it's great. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Also, a good idea, uh, I don't know if it was yours or Anketia's, to uh, list down all the people's name on Facebook and uh, welcome them. And uh... Yeah, yeah, it's a, a feature from the group. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, it was proposed to me, so I said uh, it's a good idea indeed. <laughs> Hello, Anketia. Hello, I'm Kadia. Hello. Ah, okay, okay. I didn't know that's the, that's why I, that I wondered because I'm also part of a group and they always do this and I'm like, oh my God, so they have to re remember everyone's name. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> Note it down. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Good, and you? Good, good. I'm good, thank you. We, we need to find you uh, a nickname, uh, Ankadia. Really? <laughs> I, I I don't know the 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 the, 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 the la ratisseuse ou uh, je sais pas comment ça. <laughs> uh, I I don't know the name in English of pour uh, le râteau. But... Yeah, I don't know either. But uh... <laughs> anywhere where people are available, Ankadia can fetch them. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> 
It's really awesome that Claire wants to connect. There was also another uh, another pe uh, girl co uh, who connected me with me. I didn't have the time yet to get, get back to her, but she wanted to, to do things and um, we'll have to see. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, was it Alice? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to to find uh, to, to, to find it. Uh, we'll tell you in a second, maybe if okay. I find it. I'm not sure we're going to have people today. Uh, it's, uh, but uh, for sure, I mean, uh, so Ankadia, I don't know if you saw, uh, no, well, maybe not, but we we have had the first uh, uh, contacts registering on the webpage. Oh, so cool. I didn't know. Yeah, that. yeah okay. the, fir the first four. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really cool. I mean, in, uh, yes. it's just for one day, it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. less than forty, less than uh, yes, less than twenty-four hours. So yeah, eight hours. The yeah. first one was eight hours ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's good, uh, Samuel. And it started at four p.m. yesterday. So wow. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, we have five now. We have one more. Awesome. Oh really? Awesome. From the other, I just uh, refreshed. From the other ah. uh, others. <laughs> Remy is uh, in front of his screen. Okay, F5, go, go, go. F5, F5, F5. Every five minutes. <laughs> this is Ad B. This is Ad B with the face of the um, Asian uh, child mm -hmm. carrying uh, veggies. So this one is. Ah, it's the, the first four, one. The, the previous four were from the, the other one. one. Ad yeah. A. But we can see right from from the start that there's the, there's a difference in uh, in views, right? Uh, yes, and I don't know how to explain this because impression means that Facebook showed this to more uh, to showed one ad more than the other. So then we have to do the ratio of uh, you know. Mm. One ad is has been seen uh, two thousand times. The other one one thousand times. So we have to wow, okay. to, to compare. Uh, but yeah, I mean, at least it's a good start. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, as I'm as I'm thinking about different topics, I'm adding them <clears throat> to the to the Google Calendar invitation for this afternoon. Oh, well, for for uh, the next meeting uh, we have later. Um, it's uh, you know as uh, because more and more question needs to be answered and we need to f start creating some structure and at the moment we're quite spontaneous and that's also part of the game uh, and we I mean uh, like jump from an event to another without much uh, uh, preparation I would say yeah. but. Um, I think it, the first the, the first week is going to give us uh, quite a bit of insights on how to start structuring ourselves better, so that we can eventually set up a, a, a weekly call or afterwards. I mean, um, and because of course people don't. Uh, I, 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 I'm telling I, I'm I keep on wondering why do we have 66 people. On the on, on the group that are in the end not interacting much, but I feel like maybe it's also because we haven't haven't we didn't start uh, engaging them. Well, engaging more or less with uh, I, at least I I, uh, I tried to engage them uh, as much as possible, but maybe it's because we haven't started to to provide content. Mm. The, the, which is the key reason why people are coming, you know, uh, is to get content or to. Mm. And I was yeah. thinking myself, maybe we could start start already. I mean, we all have uh, inspirations of movies, documentaries, uh, websites that are inspiring, and maybe we could just start, you know, delivering that kind of content so that we can actually get people to to engage on concrete things, on concrete promises. You know, uh, yeah. So, so if I may, I think yeah. I, I think part of it is uh, what you just said. So I'm uh, absolutely. I think content is a good idea, but I think also you know, um, in some groups, it depends on the the people of their personality. Because 
I know that in some groups or stuff, some people are not engaged at all, but it doesn't mean that they're not interested or that it's yeah. not enough content. It's just because it's the way of working, you know, they just see, but they don't necessarily yeah. react. Yeah, 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 for sure. We have like more, more than 50 people. And I'm sure that some of them are just not interacting because not because uh, of a lack of content or stuff, but just because it's in their way. So, yeah. No, but I think it's, it's important to take everything into account. And as you said, uh, providing content may help, but I'm not sure that it will s solve the problem, you know, kind of. Cause... Well, I, I think it's, it's, it's a real challenge. Uh, I mean, we definitely have had, uh, I mean, I've worked with communities before, so I'm, I'm conscious that communities not ne are not necessarily, um, I mean, it's not because you've got uh, 100 people that all 100 people are active but in the in our current context uh, most of the people who are uh, in the community are people who have been invited not yeah. all but most <laughs> yeah. so I think we have an opportunity I would say which is to to have a quality dialogue with this core uh, initial community you know meaning that if if there's no interaction, then it will end up just like a page, meaning you have uh, maybe uh, 1,000 people uh, who liked your page, but that's it. Basically, there's no interaction. Yeah. And, at, and at the moment, the difference with the group is that the group is made for, in, in, uh, for, for interacting, not just for following. And, and I believe that we have this, uh, maybe this challenge uh, to try to make sure that like, Today, there are 60, 66 people. We can probably, since each of us have, has invited people, we can probably connect with all of them and make sure that this presentation has been made. Maybe, you know, instead of me making it with you connected and uh, with the people around, maybe it could be each of us who has invited people who may eventually provide this content, you know, I don't know. Uh, so that it's closer, you know, because it's your friend. Your friend is on, uh, has been invited. He's, he's, and maybe each of us we can do this small presentation because it's very short, and uh, and then um, this way people will more easily be willing to connect because they are not afraid, you know, or they're not scared. Yes, uh, Nkadia, you wanted to. Uh, no, sorry. I, I, <laughs> go ahead. No, no, I spoke out loud, so I'm so sorry for my bad uh, language. But uh, no, no. It's, it's, uh, one of my friends. Um, is trying to connect right now so i was oh. okay for him to connect now yeah, yeah sure definitely so uh, i'll send him the link and uh, he'll be there shortly okay great uh so yeah um maybe we could try to think of it this way you know so that it's more like uh, people are are uh, uh, are empowered to actually, uh, well, the, the closest ones are empowered to actually deliver the presentation to their own friends. And this way it might be, instead of having people who don't know each other, and it might be a little bit like, uh, oh no, I don't want to speak, I'm a little bit shy, or, well, it would be always easier to carry a message to the people that we know, you know, uh, it's closer, yeah. it's uh, more uh, personalized. Yeah. Good idea. Or, or questions, maybe like, you know, ask some questions. I've seen in some permaculture group, um, they would ask a very basic existential sort of questions. And then mm -hmm. you see people interacting and replying because everyone has an opinion. So, you know, like it's basically just engaging yeah. and uh, not just giving information yeah. or yeah. resources. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. You have concrete uh, example of uh, of uh, mm -hmm. question. Um, yeah, like the other day, uh, the what is the permaculture group? Um, like uh, the, there was a question saying, uh, "Why are you part of this group?" For mm -hmm. example, and then and, uh, many of them replied saying um, because of permaculture content many of them replied saying this is the only source uh, hmm. to fight climate change so they had their own opinions and yeah. uh, uh, but uh, why are you part of this group is also like okay let's kick start hmm. the conversation and yeah. um, the motivation uh, yes. uh, just basic very basic not technical questions 
Uh, good idea. I will integrate this right away. Um, or what do you want to gain from this group? Or uh, well, since this, yeah, yeah, that we, we could uh, ask this. Yeah, what do you want to learn? Or... Since we, we might have a, I, I don't know if you if we'll go through the presentation or just connect with your friend. Mm -hmm. Alkaja, you uh, we'll see. Uh, but uh, maybe maybe you want to try to go ahead and uh, and give a try, Alkaja, of your own, to to uh, to the presentation. Since it's your friend, there's only one person for the moment. It might be as well as as a, a good try to to present. Okay. <laughs> you, want you want to try? Because if we want to. Uh, if we want to, 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 to delay, deliver the content ourselves to our own contacts, at some point we need to, to go ahead and, I mean, since there's only one person, it's a good try, you know? I'm here to okay. back up. Okay. And maybe we can do the same exercise at some other point with... Uh, all right. Since, since you, we, we were all, uh, all four of us, we were connected uh, and, and did the call yesterday, you all heard basically what I said. Okay, Maxim is connecting. Oh, awesome. I don't see him, but good. Yeah, he should be here in a second. Hello? Yeah. Is Maxim online? Yes. Hello, Maxim. Maxim? Can you hear us? He's connecting to the team. Uh, yesterday you talked about the sla about the the chat, but I I couldn't find the the window for for this. It was very frustrating because I heard you uh, talk about it, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> ah, did you find it finally? No, still not. It's uh, right at the bottom. There's it's a in Converse. There is Converse. next to participant at the bottom of the screen. There is Converse, and when you click on it, you can send a message to. Uh, everyone or to the oh, some yeah. participants yeah. privately yeah it's weird because maybe it's because i'm on, i'm um the admin uh showing my screen i, I don't know ah yeah it's um, possible that yeah. i i okay well, well welcome maxim <laughs> can you hear us uh we don't hear you uh, we can let's no. He wrote something. Can you hear me? We can, no? we can read you, but we can. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, at last, I found the chat. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. <laughs> and now, can you hear me? Ah, yeah, yeah we yes. can. Yes. Now we can. Okay. Nice. How are you doing? <laughs> so yes. So my team turns out uh, you're the only. Um, Invited, uh, I don't know. Yes. Participant. <laughs> Participant to connect today, yeah. Yes, so uh, maybe, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so we want, um, oh, where are you from, Maxim? Uh, I'm from France. I was in the same school as uh, Ankadia. Awesome. And uh, I'm currently in New Zealand. Oh. So uh, she told me a little bit about the project. Uh, awesome. I was uh, interested, so maybe I could join. Great, great. It's 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 very. I, I'm not. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. I'm not really uh, aware of the project. So <laughs> if you if you could please uh, sum up a little bit. Uh, and, uh, well, that's exactly the the goal. <laughs> okay. The goal of the call is uh, precisely to present what what what's it about. Okay, cool. <laughs> we we launched our uh, the community yesterday. So it's, you know, it's brand new. Uh, okay. Open team is, is five years old, but this is a new community. And we were suggesting uh, with Ankadia, Remy, and Priyanka, who are also connected, that maybe uh, Ankadia could go ahead and make the presentation today. Presentation for Maxime. <laughs> 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 is that fine? Ankadia, you want to go ahead? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's in, French, go for it. in French or English? <laughs> so, pr Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Pr pr English, please. Yeah, Priyanka is a. Uh, so uh, Pri Priyanka and Remy are in India. So. Uh, okay. It it it. Uh, <laughs> yes. and, and Priyanka only speaks uh, English. I, I, oh. yeah, yeah. I, I'm learning French. I'm learning French, everyone. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> learning that right. 
So maybe uh, Priyanka, you can do a presentation in French at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Double the challenge. <laughs> that, that's the challenge, exactly. <laughs> it's not the ice challenge, it's the, it's the French, presenta <laughs> French presentation challenge. <laughs> All righty then. Okay, okay Anka, yeah, you want to go ahead? You have the you have the document under the eyes. Maybe it's best that you share your screen or. Sh I'll, I'll do that uh, right away. I'll just uh, find the, uh, the presentation. Uh, is it in the? I will thank, uh, send you the link if you like, in in uh, WhatsApp. What's in WhatsApp or Slack, well, as you like. As you want. It's on Slack. Thank you. So what are you doing in New Zealand now? Uh, I'm stuck right now. <laughs> <because of> the, <laughs> like everybody. Because of the, of the lockdown. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was traveling and walking, walking holiday visa. Yeah. So walking uh, there and there, and then uh, traveling, seeing my friends. It's really mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> I bet. New Zealand yeah. is one of the countries I'd love to, to visit. Yeah, you should do. After Where I are you located? Saw... I'm I'm based in France. Okay, nice. Yeah, based Paris. In Paris, Paris area. Yeah, okay. not in, not not inside. Hopefully, I have a garden in the suburbs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, can but you I. Can you say it? Sorry. Can you see my screen? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Remy and Priyanka, we cannot see you anymore. Is it normal? Uh, let me check but we can see so you can go ahead yeah you can go ahead yeah well uh, then i'll go ahead can you see your, your, your faces okay because yeah. that. well i'll just unput it there you go uh, so i'll just go to the beginning of the presentation sorry about spoiling you in advance there you go so uh well hi guys uh maxim in particular i will present um, so open team um yeah. more specifically our food community which is a community about better foods uh, better health soil and also stronger steps towards um climate change because uh, we actually believe that um all of those um words i've just I mean, the, all the subjects of the others are linked all together. So, um, yeah. so the idea is really to connect them and uh, towards the goal of a better to to fight climate change. Uh, so um, I'll just present Open Team in a few words. So, as Soka said, Open Team um, was created five years ago, right, Soka? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Um, and so, uh, but basically, what is it? Uh, what is it? It's a, it's an NGO that's uh, it's a network of uh, different local communities, and mm -hmm. uh, it's for people who are concerned about better food systems, better nutrition, a better soul, and also, well, uh, as I said, I think or, <laughs> stronger steps uh, against climate, climate change. So that's just yeah. really the main uh, goal, uh, the idea. And uh, what we wanted to do is to provide content, co content so people can learn um, about uh, well the, the link, as I said earlier, uh, between food, health, food, climate change. And the idea really of Open Team is to raise awareness uh, of the uh, impact that uh, sustainable um, food can have on our health, like all of us, uh, but also uh, to uh, reduce um, gas effects, uh, yes. maybe okay. I can add a little bit uh, add a little bit to this yeah. uh, uh, I mean uh, have you have you ever seen any kind of documentaries or movies on, on, the, on those topics uh, are you already a little bit familiar with this or not at all or, or most of it yeah. um, um, just a little bit <laughs> I have a general knowledge about it yeah 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 one of the key things that we can see today is that there are many documentaries that will talk about food specifically, that will talk about mm -hmm. uh, vegetables, like Cowspiracy is a documentary which is very famous, uh, which talks about uh, cows and, and eating meat, you know. But often people don't understand why eating food, eating meat, eating such and such things has such an impact on climate change. 
you don't necessarily see the cor correlation be between these things. Okay. Yet it is very, very, very important. Agriculture is one of the uh, first source of gas emission, uh, greenhouse gas emissions. And, um, and that's why we, we wanted to, to better get people to understand uh, well okay. that there is an interlink interlinkage between those different topics, you know, food, nutrition, yeah. health, soil, soil regeneration, because when you do bad, when you do bad agriculture, you destroy the soils and destroying the soils means that there is less uh, uh, gas emissions um, at, um, uh, capture, sequestration, mm -hmm. uh, and as a consequence, has a heavy consequence on uh, climate change and uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So that's really one of the focus we want to, to, to put on, but we want to be very concrete and get people access to one specific, uh, to very concrete things. So how to start gardening, how to understand better those things. And, you know, it's really a question okay. of uh, acting by doing, you know? So you're, you intend to to provide content to everyone or just farmers or what's your targets? Everybody. Everybody. Okay. It's a good question. Right. It's a good comment. Are you about to? <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Karen, if you like. Okay. Um, there you go. Uh, yep. So, um, so as I told you earlier, Maxime, um, we really promote I don't know how to cut down, but I cannot cut it down. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, uh, as I told you earlier, Maxime, sorry about that. Um, we pr the idea is to promote agroecology and agroforestry techniques. Um, mm -hmm. For example, yesterday we had uh, during the call uh, one of the farmers in Nepal, right? Um, so yeah, uh, Sudarshan. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Sudarshan is the he's in Nepal right now, and he's working, I think, on his own, right? Yeah. Because well. Yeah. Exactly. And stuff. Um, so yeah, we're directly uh, working with uh, some farmers. Um, Nepalese farmers. Yeah. Nepalese farmer. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, the idea is to really to to create kind of create a spark, kind of to inspire um, our Westernized societies uh, to actually um, earn knowledge from indigenous people and uh, mostly their practices, their good practices, because they're respectful. Most of them, most of the indigenous practices are um, respectful of the, um, the earth and and they actually integrate in themselves um, the, uh, the, the agroecology and agroforestry stuff. I mean, it's not, you know, intensive agriculture as it is in our Western world. So, world. so uh, the idea is really to, um, to, to, to take inspiration from them, to, to learn their practices, and uh, eventually to, to collaborate with them, so as maybe to even replicate what they do in their countries, maybe in our Westernized societies, because uh, it is better practices, and it is practices that are respectful to the, um, to the environment. And so, uh, yeah, that's why the, the, um, the, the NGO is called Open Team, because uh, it's really the openness of uh, access to knowledge, and so we are one big open team. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, Suka, should I go on or do you want to add something? Suka, hello. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, it's a, I was in mute, sorry, I couldn't find the unmute. Uh, yeah, go carry on. That's great. Uh, so, what you will find and receive by joining Open Team, Maxime, if you want, yeah. uh, you will find documentaries um, and resources to learn about food, health, and climate change. But uh, it, although you said you didn't know much about it, I know you do because uh, we did the same uh, curriculum at school, so I know you do a little bit more than what you said. <laughs> uh, you could uh, also learn uh, how to produce your own food at home, actually. Um, so yeah, we will provide you with uh, some content with that. As I told you earlier, we are working with farmers, so um, definitely they're go definitely going to give us some tips on how to do it on our own at home. Okay. Uh, you can also learn how to launch your your community garden in your neighborhood. So I don't know about New Zealand because uh, you're not there like forever, but uh, even there, yeah, you're back in maybe I'll do it. <laughs> awesome. 
And um, lastly, last but not least, uh, you will learn how to launch your bio bio-intensive organic farm. So Soga, please uh, help me with this one because that's something <laughs> I meant to, to ask you yesterday. <laughs> bio-intensive and I was like, I have to ask Soka about it because I know you mentioned it like way, way earlier, yeah. but I think, I mean, to me, it's still confusing because yeah. you're intensive in it. And intensive yeah. reminds, reminds me of uh, bah, agriculture intensive, sorry. If you're true, true, true. Uh, so, uh, f f the first thing is that uh, since uh, uh, Maxim, you, you asked uh, right before if the community was aimed for farmers or specialists or not. Well, I, I said no, because the goal is to deliver content to uh, the broadest audience and each of us can adapt to uh, well, our condition and our level of engagement, you know, uh, some, most of us are just simple citizens who might be, may be interested in learning how to grow, uh, uh, get your seed, your cucumber seeds and, and grow new cucumbers. And I should integrate actually pictures of my cucumbers uh, in my uh, living room into, <laughs> in the <Yes>. presentation. <laughs> This, because this this is all hard, how it's starting, you know. It's really like we are in lockdown at the moment, and I'm like, okay, let's start uh, let's start doing our, our own seeds. You know? um, uh, well, so it's um, in the community we have uh, uh, mostly citizens, but, but there are some farmers, and the work that we're doing in Nepal is focused on farmers. So, but you know, the knowledge of farmers is available to citizens. It's just smaller scale. It's so, it, it, so that's why we wanted to bring it to democratize this knowledge and make it available so you can, you can do your things. My mom talked to me like uh, three weeks ago and asked me how to start uh, do, uh, doing her planter, you know, and oh, I can, uh, you can actually uh, get your seeds and okay, your soil is a little bit old. So here, how, how you can do it. Uh, this, is how, this is based on what we're doing in Nepal. That's the logic, you know. But if mm -hmm. the farmers, in India, in South Africa, wherever, who want to access this knowledge and start their own uh, and, and, and switch from uh, chemical fertilizers to organic farms, we provide mm -hmm. also the content to get started for the switch. Okay. And why do we call it bio-intensive? It's because when you look at most of the farms, uh, a, what we call smallholder farmers, uh, that's the farmers in the world, especially in, devel in um, developing countries, well, they mostly produce um, agriculture for their own living at 70%. It's food that they mm -hmm. produce for, for them to survive and only 30% is sold. And uh, that's because they don't have the knowledge how to actually uh, use their area as a soil in such a way that you can produce uh, enough uh, or heavily uh, focused on the market. You know, they don't have this knowledge. Uh, permaculture is bringing some of the principles uh, that we are integrating in this logic. Permaculture is about um, healing the soil, healing the people, um, it goes in uh, under all those principles, but it's also about optimizing how we can produce our, uh, in the best way in a small area. And that's what okay. we call bio, bio intensive. It means that you use the soil to produce as much as you can, but in a different way than a con uh, conventional agriculture. What you mm -hmm. try to do is to get crops that are made to fit one with another. For example, you take radish, radish with onions that works together. You can plant them in between. You can make one arrow of onions and one arrow of radish and one uh, row of onions and they're going to, going to work together. And uh, whereas before you would have only done one row, now you have three. So it's mm -hmm. increasing your, grow, your, 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 um, your, uh, your production on the same space. And that's what mm -hmm. we call bio-intensive because it's, uh, it's, it's using organic uh, principles, but also permaculture principles. But since the aim is for selling for farmers, smallholder farmers, the goal is we don't call it permaculture because permaculture is more about something which is very personal, you know? 
You, you cannot say that we have a network of permaculture farms that are dedicated far to, to selling food on the markets. There are still farmers who want to sell in the market. And so that's called biointensive organic farming. Okay, I see. And now, Kadia, you've got the detail. Maybe we're not going to give as much detail in the presentation in the future because it's quite a topic in itself and it's actually fantastic. But that's Maxim is lucky. Sorry? Maxim is lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but, but actually that's typically the kind of topic that we would like to to provide you know in terms of documents yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's it's it's, it's Maxine, very... have you heard uh, of permaculture before yeah yeah i've heard um, i had uh, friends working colleagues mm. uh, doing a community garden agro yeah. um, with this uh, topic uh, agroculture and um, yeah, I'm really interested by this, but... Uh, and New Zealand is actually one of the hub. Sorry? New Zealand, uh, very close to permaculture, is one of the uh, hub. Yeah, I don't know. Like the many Zealand. projects in New Zealand. And yeah. Country hub, yeah. True. I'd, I'd like to grow uh, some vegetables and fruits, but uh, I'm really bad and everything dies with me. <laughs> so I'm really interested. <laughs> It's, it's, it's funny that you say that because I, um, I, I, was, I was saying exactly the same thing initially. I've always been very bad at growing anything and just, I mean, caring for plants, you know, I, I, when yeah. I think of myself just like a few, like one year ago, uh, I was really, I mean, the perfect, you know, guy who was about nothing to care for plants <laughs> and who were mm. letting the, the plants die out of water, not being, uh, you know, uh, yeah, how was it, you know. Um, and uh, but actually, when you start caring about your your plants and fruits, you get a completely different ratio to uh, f to food. Really, it's it's complete because you want your plants to grow, and it becomes like a baby or like like a dog. Really, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, my my girlfriend is telling me, but <laughs> stop taking so much time with your plants. <laughs> <laughs> Just get back to me. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, uh, we've murdered many plants as well. That's so cool. So it's normal. It's normal. Yeah. You learn. But then, like, it's quite interesting when you find out why they have died. <clears throat> like, for example, yeah. uh, tomatoes. We were uh, we were planting tomatoes in Ho Chi Minh. Uh, we were in Vietnam before this, and. Okay our tomatoes died and we were like wondering why and then we asked a few experts and they were like uh, and then one of the classes it just came up that apparently tomatoes don't like water from up like so okay. it doesn't like rains or it doesn't like like water in the leaves yeah and that's okay. so strange but that's how it is and uh, like oh, okay so we watered the, uh, watered it to death or left it out in the open in the rainy season thinking oh plants like water they don't not all mm -hmm. well, <laughs> it's not that they don't but it's just that they like it in the roots and, and that's why yeah we're... yeah they like that's... it in the roots yeah and that's why we're setting up a drip irrigation system in nepal you know because uh, sudarshan in uh, our nepalese farmer he's gonna have like uh, lines of tomatoes but mm. Uh, since we cannot water, uh, you know, uh, each plant individually with, you, you know, uh, the goal is to, to, to use drip irrigation, goutte à goutte, um, uh, to, to get the water, uh, limited amount of water right at the roots. You know? Yeah. And I can show, yeah. the, I'll that's take a picture. One, um, that's actually one way to go. And then there was another farm we went to in Bali and they had tomato farms which flourished during the summer and in the, when it was rainy season it was all like dying and the farmer like whose farm it was he was like it's okay next season they'll be back no problem yeah. so you know it's just like uh, it's the way you look at it True. Uh, if you want to sell that's not a very good approach but yeah. if you want it for yourself mm. Mm -hmm. Just let I, nature be, you know. Like it's I'll take a picture outside. You will see um, on my garden uh, the number of uh, baby tomatoes that are growing out from the tomatoes that fall, fell on the uh, on on the ground. You know, mm -hmm. they brought so many seeds, and now 
everything is growing by itself. I did nothing. I never seeded anything. It's fantastic. Yeah. And that's, oh, that's uh, tomate cerise. Yeah. Uh, uh, cherished tomato. Um, I don't know if that's the translation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cherry tomatoes. That's cherry actually. tomato. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I have thousands. I don't know what to do with them. I already have. Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> Summer salad. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, and Kelly, you want to carry on? Yep. So, how can we collaborate with you, Maxime? So uh, the idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, gather existing online resources, so share them on one uh, one uh, platform. One mm -hmm. platform. Thank you, Renka. Wow, <laughs> uh, I'm getting confused right now. So yeah, with uh, on one platform, um, the idea is also to produce some documentaries uh, ourselves, ourselves mm -hmm. from what we learn and stuff. Uh, to gather local gardening knowledge. So I think we we've talked about it. Uh, earlier, like together, uh, to connect gardening elder experts or experts, okay, yeah, in your area. So that's important because um, I think I mentioned it at the beginning, but the idea is really to have like local things. Like, although the main project uh, of an open team is in uh, Nepal because we want to um, to develop the farm in Nepal, the idea is really to, to grow little, uh, I'm sorry, Priyanka, I'm really bad at this. But, uh, you know, to have a duplicate. Ah, I don't replicate. know. Replicate, that's the way. Replicate, replicate. Thank you, Soka. Yep, and um, yeah, really to, to have a community uh, where we can create uh, local events, develop uh, local communities uh, in your building, neighborhood, village or city, like uh, anything that pleases you really. And uh, the real, the, the, the goal is to innovate for a cause. And I think uh, we can actually add that the cause is change and uh, yeah we want to develop actions that promotes um, that we care for the uh, for the area simply but, uh, I think uh, it's the end yes it's the end so I'll stop sharing now there you go <laughs> okay nice yeah, it's really interesting yep what, what, what are you doing in life um, in New Zealand Maxime uh, actually, nothing. I just uh, oh, I just ended just... up a trip uh, around Asia. Yeah. I was uh, in Cambodia. Oh, that's my home there. country. Really? I didn't know. You're yeah. Cambodian? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, working in Campen. Oh. And then I moved to, to, to New Zealand to just to, to work because I just finished school. Uh, I wanted to see, to travel before going to professional world. <laughs> so it's really, and then I'm stuck here, but uh, I'll probably go in France in one month. Yeah, mm -hmm. hopefully. hopefully. Can you yeah. go out or not? Uh, yeah, the, actually the, the lockdown is over. Ah. It finished uh, two days ago. So now mm -hmm. we are, almost free to move. Wow. Mm -hmm. And how is it going? Um, yeah. No, it's, uh, it's, they, they took um, strict, re strict restriction from the start of the epidemic. Mm -hmm. So not so much um, COVID cases around mm -hmm. New Zealand. And they, they put the lockdown before it went crazy. So it's good. I they well, manage well. Yeah. Um, so, well, I, I'd be curious to have your feedback on the way that you would, you, 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 what, what, what you thought of the presentation. Is it too long, too detailed, or, or good, or are there some things, specific things that made you feel like uh, eventually, uh, well, Mm. points where you felt there were uh, things you wanted to do or to, to, to view eventually? Or... Well, just feedback. Um, yeah, the, the presentation is, um, is intended to, to uh, future members. That's it. Yeah. So that's uh, the target. Yeah. And you, okay. So, um, yeah. 
it was nice. It was a nice presentation, but um, I can't see clearly the 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 steps, the steps of the of joining the joining the community, the open team. How can mm -hmm. I join the team? And uh, when you say yeah. Team? When you say uh, the steps, or you mean, uh, are you because we try to to provide two things. First, is for you to access content. Uh, so we will be creating a page, and maybe that's one of the things we can do uh, very quickly. Uh, is to create a page with with the first resource that we that we feel is consistent, like already like a page with the link of the top uh, ten documentaries to watch for example, on YouTube yeah. or on Netflix or what, whatever, you know, that could be one thing. So that, or, yeah, and Kadia? Sorry, just, uh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but uh, Maxime is not on the group yet, so maybe that's why you're, he's also. Ah, okay. Did yeah, I, okay. Did I invite you, Maxime? So if you want to join, yeah. you'll have We have a yeah. Facebook group, yeah? yeah. You're, on, you're on the group? Uh, I'm, I don't think so. Yeah. Ah. But I, did I invite you or should we send you another invite? I don't remember. On Facebook? On Facebook, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, I have the invitation. Okay, good. Okay, check this. Um, yeah. yeah, so for, for, first thing was really to, to get access to content. And then the, 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 the second question is to, uh, well, uh, how do you, how do you, feel concerning the, 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 the community. Would you like to take part in creating content and help us gather content? Like uh, that would mean concretely, well, for example, in New Zealand, identifying in your neighborhood, are there some community gardens? Uh, are there some people, you know, th that's the kind of thing. Uh, can, uh, how to connect with the community gardens around there so that we can eventually create the bridges. Um, that could be also, for example, uh, well, help us identify, uh, well, um, links on the on the web or uh, on YouTube. Eventually, probably in New, on YouTube, there are in New Zealand some key people who are very famous uh, in doing uh, either permaculture or doing, uh, and eventually help us. Uh, well, I, um, you know, uh, benchmark uh, who who is. Who is famous? Who who is uh, like a leader, or that we can f to value his content? You know, it's a, it's really a question of valuing yeah, the content available. Really content. Yeah, I get this feeling that uh, New Zealand is a little bit late um, about um, agrological uh, products like bio products. Oh, yeah. There are no, there are no ag agricultural uh, products in the supermarket, or really few. So, and I don't see any community garden, but I'm really interested in looking for, I can check. Yeah, where are you, where are you based exactly in New Zealand? Tiano, it's uh, in the south, southern point of uh, the south, southern island. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's, not, it's not really um, um, agricultural uh, land. Mm -hmm. Like all the, the farms and uh, orchards are located in the north. Ah, yeah, I see. Yeah, I get, yeah. I get this reflex, you know. Uh, I'm not in class right now, but anyways, uh, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, yes, isn't Jeanne in New Zealand as well? No, she's in Melbourne. Australia. Sorry? Uh, in Australia, Australia. Oh, okay. okay, thanks. We have a team member who is in Melbourne. Okay, nice. Yeah. How many people are in the team? So, <laughs> well, core team, maybe, uh, I don't have the exact number, but maybe like five, between five and ten. Okay. Wait till the next question. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, and, and, and then uh, do you feel like it would, uh, for you, um, in your case, do you feel like uh, you you would be eager to to learn how to, how to grow stuff in a in your planter? You know what is sure. a planter? Uh, yeah, uh, it's like a house. No, no, it's jardinier. Yeah. Okay, okay. In okay. jardinier, sur le balcon. Okay, yeah, that would uh, that would be awesome. I have a friend. Um, I have a friend um, who did uh, an internship in permaculture. Mm -hmm. 
like a, a week. A week oh, yeah. paid. Uh, she, she paid uh, for a whole week in permaculture with uh, five or ten other people. Mm. So like Priyanka and Remy. Mm. Sorry? Like Priyanka and Remy. They just did that before. Oh, yeah. okay. It was in France. It was for two weeks, but yeah, it was a permaculture two design weeks. course. Did you do it in France? No, we did in the Philippines. Okay. Yeah. Right. I think in Europe it's a bit expensive. Yeah, yeah it they... can be expensive too. It's like uh, 1,000 minimum, 1,000 euro for two weeks. Yeah, but our uh, the teacher we had, uh, he does it in uh, Spain for a fairly cheaper price. So if you are interested, one if you're day, interested, uh, you can <laughs> or you can go in Nepal and do it for 400 dollars. <laughs> Sorry, you can Where? do it in Nepal. In Nepal. Nepal? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, Nepal. No, but Nepal, was it 400? Yeah, but 400 for Indians? Or? For who? Uh, who? For Indians, maybe. Yeah. For Indians, 400. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And for Nepalese, free. And for Europeans, 1500. We did. Ah, Paraguay. okay. You benchmark. Yeah, it's, it's normal <laughs> price for, uh, for Europeans. Yeah, for Europeans, it's uh, expensive okay. everywhere. Uh, uh, I think okay. it's kind of fair, but. You, yeah. you know, uh, there are some options. <clears throat> uh, last last year, I did this uh, exchange uh, thing with uh, a school, and uh, they they actually held. I couldn't attend because I had like exam and stuff. But uh, they held some. Um, how do you call it? Some uh, when the weekend. Mm -hmm. like, I'm so sorry, Priyanka. I, I sh I'm so no, but uh, I have uh, three translators <laughs> right in front of the screen. <laughs> So uh, yes, they did this um, this permaculture uh, weekend <laughs> in, uh, for two two days, and uh, I think it costed like costed cost cost, cost. yeah thank you uh, 60, 60 euros. But because it was um, mainly targeted at students, you know, and okay. it was only yeah. so the weekend. But uh, if you look for it, and if you are still a student like me, uh, well, you can benefit from. Uh, and I think for non-students, it was like double but it's still 120 i mean for the weekend it's pretty cool not to learn mm. the, the basics um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, i was wondering um uh, maybe it could be a good idea to add this um uh, practical training to the theoretical content that you intend to to deliver to, to people mm. like uh, or if it's possible, or if it's, it will be a further step, but that could be interesting too. Uh, I, I'm sorry, there was a cut on my side. I think I didn't hear what you, what you, your suggestion. Uh, yeah, I was suggesting um, uh, to maybe add this um, PDC? practical, uh, practical training. A permaculture design like, course. Uh, uh, this, ah, uh, okay, okay. You mean uh, so the, the the how to how to do your planter? Yeah, in addition to the theoretical uh, documents and uh, all the knowledge, the content. Yeah. But, uh, we propose uh, some kind of training or maybe videos or uh. stuff like this. Could be. <clears throat> and um, indeed, we, there there are some. Um, it's actually a good point a good transition to this question there, there are different ways to engage in in the in the in the, in the community <coughs> so as either you can benefit from the this, this content and only this and then do it yourself uh, at home or you can also take part in the team and help us build all this content you know and uh, yeah. uh, in your okay. case what, what what would be your, your case it can yeah. be both also <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I'm down to join the team. Awesome. Yeah, so, uh, well, um, uh, yeah, we have, uh, we have, uh, well, at the moment, we're mostly connected uh, every day, but we have a, a, a weekly uh, team meeting uh, on, on each Monday at, at uh, 9.15 a.m. Paris time. Uh, okay. But we'll be. Um, we have a, a an, another team call this afternoon at two p.m. Paris time. Um, if you feel like joining, we'll I be discussing more internally. But two a.m. Uh, in yeah, it's 
Or oh, it's, yeah, it may, maybe late on your side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, great. Um, but uh, thank you. For, thanks for the feedback. And let's uh, let's see how we can um, uh, put everything together. Uh, we have a we have a key issue now is uh, that we're going to discuss uh, this afternoon, which is uh, how to create a structured uh, uh, team, you know, uh, because the team is growing. Like every day we have people telling us they want to join. So we need to see how we are going to organize this. Um, okay. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> 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 Make it easier. Just, just let me know if I can do for something for you. Awesome. Great. Awesome, guys. Well, um, we're getting out of time. Yeah. Uh, thank you again, and uh, let's uh, let's keep in touch. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Maxime. Thank you, Maxime. Bye. Uh, Remy, Priyanka, and Ankadia, do you want to uh, just? Uh, I have to run. I have You have to run. Okay, you have to go too. We connect again at two. At two. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. Talk to you soon. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye.